first, let's define a restoring force. A restoring force is a force that acts to bring things back to a state of equilibrium. When a stable system at equilibrium is tweaked, often some kind of restoring force naturally kicks in. Let's take a look at this person here who's falling on the ice. You have some semblance of a restoring force in you. If you're standing or walking and suddenly you start to tip over, a restoring force will kick in and try to stop you from falling over completely. When we pluck the string on a guitar or any other stringed instrument, if we pluck it to the left, when we let it go, it goes back to the right. Of course, then it overshoots to the right, and then it goes back to the left, and then it overshoots there and gets pushed back to the right, and back and forth and back and forth. But that's a restoring force that causes that string to eventually come back to equilibrium. On a diving board, after this person jumps off, there's a restoring force within the diving board that tends to bring that diving board back to horizontal. In simple harmonic motion, which I'll often abbreviate SHM, the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement from equilibrium, which means that the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement. We could think of a stringed instrument, for example, as the displacement increases, that is, as I pull the string further from equilibrium, the force that the string exerts to go back to equilibrium gets bigger. As the displacement gets smaller, the restoring force gets smaller. And when the displacement is zero, there is no restoring force. We will learn about two cases that exhibit, or nearly so, simple harmonic motion. One is the mass spring system. What we have here is essentially a wall with a spring attached to it, and then on the other end of the spring is a mass. And that mass can be made to oscillate back and forth on the tabletop. The other case is a pendulum. It's got a bob at the bottom with a string attached to a pivot point. The amount of displacement affects the amount of force with which the bob is pushed back towards equilibrium. Same thing with the mass spring system. The bigger the displacement, the bigger the force that tries to restore equilibrium. When we say amplitude, we're talking about the maximum displacement from equilibrium. So for example, this mass spring system, when it's oscillating back and forth, it's at a maximum only when it's at its farthest right configuration and when it's at its farthest left configuration. The other displacements in between those, those aren't the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum displacement. For mass spring systems, the amplitude is symbolized by A and it's measured usually in meters because with a mass spring system we're dealing with lengths. For pendulums, the amplitude is symbolized by an angle, theta, and it's measured in degrees, although radians could work just as well. A restoring force is a force that acts to bring a system back toward a state of equilibrium. When a restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement, the system is exhibiting simple harmonic motion. Two easily analyzed examples of simple harmonic motion are the mass spring system and the simple pendulum.